What's up guys, Frosty's here with another brand new video. Uh, today, as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be reviewing and going through Steam Chat. So, Steam Chat seems to be, I haven't really, I just read through the, uh, the app description on Google Play. Uh, Steam Chat just seems to be a solo chat feature. Uh, it's a completely different app than the regular Steam app. It just seems they ripped the chat features from there, upgraded them to be similar to the ones that you have on your regular Steam client on your personal computer and uh, just putting them in their own separate app. Now, of course, as many people have already been saying in the reviews, which is a funny meme to me since when the app just dropped, it had a five-star rating, right? And it was only showing one review, but there was already like dozens of reviews all giving one or two stars saying like, this app makes no sense. Why would they make a solo app just for uh, communicating on Steam? Why not just take all these updates and put them into the normal Steam app? Uh, I don't know why they would decide to do this, but I might as well go through it, see how good it is, and see if it's even worth downloading. So starting off, seems like you can chat with your friends and in groups, which is already better than the Steam chat in the uh, other regular Steam app. Uh, check out official game chats. Okay, that seems new. See who's playing now. You can see that in the other app anyway. Oh, but it's showing like that menu that you'll see when you're in the game or on the new Steam client where it will show uh, the three, uh, you can see right here at the top, the three members who are grouped together in the game and it's green, what game they're in, uh, you know, what round it may be. This mainly applies for me to see us go the way it's showing here. That's the first thing I think of. You may have different experiences playing other Steam games. Uh, what else? Oh, you can now add Steam friends with the link. So you can text or email a custom link. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So starting off, Okay, number one, I have to update this because I just unadded a bunch of these people. These are all scammers. This one's a scammer, so you can block them. Oh, so just showing my history. Okay, like this guy, I blocked this guy, and this was the guy who had added me, who tried to scam me, but he has a legitimate account. So that's pretty cool. Now let's look through this. Okay, so this is all a different UI. You can add a friend using this, pending links. So I guess those are links that you sent out and then invite link. Okay, you can generate a link, you can drop it to a text message or an email. When someone clicks on the link, you'll be added to each other's friend list. Okay, you can generate a link and then share that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's see what else, what else. Oh, so if I, okay, it's that same link, whatever. Okay, so I can close that and delete this link. Let's see what else. Uh, let's check out this account. Oh, so you can, Add images. Oh, and you can send your Steam emojis. Okay, so let me get all the other ones off my other account and just start spamming those to people. That's pretty fucking cool. Oh, and then you can add them to group chats. Okay, so I'm gonna take him, I'll take him. And you can invite them to a group chat. I guess they'll get a notification saying that they got added to it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can use group chats. Here's your group settings. You can name the chat. Let's name it alts. You can add an image, I guess. Maybe down the line. You can add a tagline. Alternative counts. Oh, you can add it to your favorites. That's cool. You can see the owner. Uh, here's the home. Add text channels. Oh, so this is like a Discord thing. Add text channel. Law. There. Oh, so you can have, this is your home channel and you can add other channels to talk in. It'd be cool if you can add voice channels and stuff too, but then that would be a straight up Discord ripoff. Um, can you like, oh, you can click on the member, send them a message, read their profile, kick them, ban them, uh, friend settings, add to favorites, block all communication, use default, oh, mobile notifications when I receive a direct chat message, you can add that on to, oh, that's just set to on, use my default, okay, and you can remove them as a friend, what else can you do from here, uh, you can view their profile, send them a message, Let's see if your profile will just take you. Press this load in. Okay, so 
Okay, so it loads in basic Steam UI, just seeing their profile and shit. And that's pretty cool. Chat pops up here. It doesn't pop up in like your regular thing. So these are normal chats. These are your chats here. Then these are people who are online. You can see what game they're playing and everything. This seems like a direct port from the uh, new Steam thing. Oh, and it shows the game with the logo next to the game, online friends and stuff. And then here we go. You can see the uh, your other groups. So I guess this is the favorites bar. And then you can start a new chat. Let's say I invite these two. This means I can start a whole new group. Uh, what else? Hmm. This is good because it shows your chat history as well. So what if I... See, I would have to... I can't see their profile from here since I block communication with them. But let's say I go... Hmm. Should I try that now? Let me try that. If I go into Steam... If I go into my Steam app and go to Friends, and then... I mean, not Friends. I want to see... Uh, is it Manage Friends List or something? Fuck, where'd you go from here? Here we go. Friends, I was trying to get to this thing where I can go to this drop down that I can see who I blocked. What was that guy's name? Metal? Because I wanted to see when I talked to him. If I unblock all communication from him, and then I go back to here, would I have to close and reopen? Or? Oh, and then now I can see this guy's account. He was trying to add. He was trying to add me for some reason and told me to delete this guy who I added, uh, Jake Lucky, who's a YouTuber. He adds like a bunch of people. His friend just is full. But he was telling me to unadd him if I wanted to get a knife from him. So yeah, that's cool. It uh, does it pretty quickly too. So I can see my chat history. And I haven't talked to this guy and I unadded him. I don't think I blocked him. Of course, we got unadded him a long time ago. Uh, and then. Some of these accounts I had in another video that I just uploaded from uh, Steam Scams 2019. See, it's going Steam Scams 2019. So you can just ignore a few of those chats. But yeah, this app overall is pretty cool, to be honest. Um, oh, append nicknames to friends' names. Hide offline friends in custom categories. Ignore away status when sorting friends. Only embed images and other media when on Wi-Fi. This will help you if you're... If you have a like a two gigabyte data plan and you're not trying to use up all your data uh, downloading images and stuff in your chat, don't embed embed images and other media in line. Uh, your notifications when I receive a chat room notification, uh, when I receive a direct chat message. I so I'm fine with most of these being off to be honest. Uh, I don't really have a lot of nicknames for friends. I know these accounts. I don't have a lot of friends on here anyway. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, and then you can search. Alright, so let's say I search um, Nickward. That's a common. Oh, this is just searching for your friends. Okay, never mind. I thought this was like a community search feature. Never mind. So you can just search through if you have a lot of friends. Let's say I'm searching for that guy random who kept popping up. I could put an R and then all my R's would pop up. And then he's first. That's pretty cool. Yeah, overall, the Steam app is a. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's a pretty useful feature. I really don't know how I feel about them making it its own custom app. Um, to be honest, if they just took this and then poured it in, well no, I don't, I don't think they can do this. I can see what they're going for. Uh, I guess it wasn't possible for them to port in all the new Steam features. And a lot of people don't use Steam Guard because they don't see the point of using it for like, a lot of people don't really trade their items and stuff on Steam. So there's really no need to have a Steam Guard app. I mean, in the end, it would have been preferable to the average user of Steam to have this all integrated into the regular Steam app and just have one app. But I like what they did here. A lot of the features are usable. Uh, I guess this is kind of like, I wouldn't call it a Discord competitor, right? Because it's nowhere near that level, but it's good for Steam. It's good for Steam. I see it as a good experiment, a nice test. It works pretty well, right? It's an easy way to add friends, easy way to communicate. 
uh, if you're not someone who can text and stuff, you can download this on your tablet. If you have Wi-Fi, communicate on Steam there. If you're not a texter anyway, or if you're a gamer who communicates using Steam, this is a good app to have. Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, not a lot of features I would suggest, except for that voice uh, chat feature. If there was a way they could integrate the Steam voice chat that they have now, that would be cool to add into it here. Because they already have all the text channels and stuff. I like the idea of having also separate text channels in your Steam groups. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why you would need them, but I guess that's pretty cool. Overall, this is a cool app. It's a nice feature. Uh, I like the things they do. I would give this honestly like what four out of five stars, just because it's missing a few things. You know, like that uh, that voice chat feature would be cool, and I don't really see the point of them making a whole nother app for it. Uh, what else? What else? You can get feedback there anyway, so I can just do that later. Uh, the adding a friend feature is cool. Uh, it will be easier if you could uh, click on accounts that you've already noticed that you had from before, and then you can at least get to their profile. Because at least in the other Steam app, when I click on their profile picture, I can go straight to their profile instead of trying to go into the chat with them and getting this notification over and over again. You block them, and then I'll have to go back to the other app, unblock them, or log in online and unblock them just so I can see the chat history with them. But yeah, it'll be easier if you can click on here and get to their profiles, and then you can click on the image to see their profiles, and then click on the actual chat to get to the chat. That would be one feature I would say. So yeah, four out of five stars, just like quality of life things they should add in. Uh, it's in a good place right now. It's going in a good direction. And if you're someone who uses Steam to talk with friends, this is a must have. Uh, I'll support what they're doing with this. I still think it should all be one app, but yeah, we'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, stay frosty.